अस्सलाम वालेकुम स्टूडेंट्स आई एम उस्मा कुलसुम फ्रॉम एफ सिक्स अटक एस एस सी बॉयज़ इंग्लिश डिपार्टमेंट एंड टुडे आई एम हेयर टू डिस्कस टू री कैप द टॉपिक दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस फ्रॉम द बुक इंग्लिश एहर लो सेकेंडरी स्टूडेंट बुक थ्री पेज नंबर सेवेंटी टू यूनिट सिक्स एंड द टॉपिक इज थर्ड कंडीशनल एंड यू विल बी नीडेड स्टूडेंट बुक टू अंडरस्टैंड द टॉपिक एंड वट इज़ द टॉपिक थर्ड कंडीशनल ना ओपन योर बुक्स पेज सेवेंटी टू एंड सी blue box that is given on the page number we will handle the topic in two parts the first one uh, the structure of uh, third conditional will be discussed and later on uh, in the next part uh, the function of third conditional will be described uh, you see here on uh, the page number uh, two words are given if plus past participle the second one would have plus uh, past perfect if plus uh, past perfect and uh, the second one would have plus past participle fine in the conditional sentences there are two parts of a sentence uh, uh, if clause is there and the second one is uh, the result clause is there if clause shows the condition if it is fulfilled or not fulfilled there will be the result of that condition with particular uh, with reference to this uh, uh, third conditional uh, see if uh, a, if there is if clause it will carry past perfect means had plus third form of the main form and the next part of the uh, sentence would carry would have plus past participle it means if had is there in the next part would have will be there both share the same thing that is the form of the main verb that will be third form of the main verb in both clauses here lies the difference if had is there that pair is different the next pair is would have will be there got it so uh, second important thing is that uh, uh, it is not necessary that uh, if clause must come at the beginning of the sentence it it can be at the end of the sentence now i'm going to read uh, uh, the examples that are given uh, on the book uh, uh, see page 72 uh, this uh, example is this one if no one had needed to stay connected while away from home martin cooper would not have spent years inventing mobile phone okay you see if clause is there if is there and then had is there had means past perfect and uh, what is uh, what about the form of the main verb third form of the main verb is there and what is the next part of the sentence um, uh, martin Co cooper would not have uh, spent years in inventing the mobile phone what is there would is there uh, and then have is there automatically it is understood the third form of the main verb will be there and uh, what about the second uh, example that is uh, thomas edison would not have invented the electric uh, light bulb if the people had not needed to work study uh, and read after sunset okay so um, i have already uh, told you that it is not necessary that if clause must come at the beginning of the sentence you see here in this sentence if clause comes at the uh, in the next part of the sentence in the beginning uh, would is there and uh, with would what uh, is uh, needed have is there so this pair uh, contains would have and the next is if had that is the next uh, pair and uh, both uh, share the common thing what is that the third form of the main verb that is uh, in the first part invented and uh, in the second part what is there needed is there uh, as far as the structure is concerned uh, there comes to uh, parts uh, of a conditional sentence if clause is there and then the result clause is there if clause uh, carry if plus uh, past perfect means that had is there if had is there okay the next part carries would have is there and as far as the form of the main verb is concerned both carry the third form of the main verb the second important thing regarding the structure of third conditional is that it is not necessary that if clause come uh, must come at the beginning of the sentence it can be at the end of the sentence now come to uh, the uh, function of third conditional where do we use third conditional 
this one and uh, uh, third conditional uh, when we imagine different past and uh, where something did or didn't happen the way we imagine okay so we are talking about the different result example is there if um, i had known about it i would have told you i was totally unaware of the fact if i had known that i would have told you so the things have happened but it is not it, uh, they didn't happen according to our expectation so we are visualizing we are um, with, uh, it is imaginary situation we are thinking like it uh, it should have happened like the way we had expected so it talks about uh, imaginary condition the second important use is that it talks about the regrets or one, um, complaint is there like um, suppose that uh, the situation is there uh, we we haven't worked hard uh, uh, in the exams and uh, exam we have already taken our paper and uh, unfortunately the result is not good and the result card is in our hand and we are visualizing we are thinking about the situation if we had worked hard we would have we would have uh, 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 passed it uh, well and uh, so it talks about our regrets and complaint is there for example uh, the sentence if i had worked harder i would have passed uh, we have discussed the uh, uh, structure of uh, um, third conditional and then uh, discuss the function of third conditional you're quite familiar with it and, and this uh, lecture is for the sake of revision and recap and uh, now uh, come to the exercise number one complete the third conditional sentence uses the correct form of the verb that is given in the bracket okay uh, we will uh, do this exercise um, uh, then papia dash um, about chindigo if he dash kenji uh, kwakmi is magazines okay kwakmi is magazines um, uh, what comes uh, uh, in the in the blank uh, would not have known and uh, in the second one is that uh, had not read mm -hmm. if had is there and would have is there and uh, both share uh, the same thing uh, similarity is that, uh, what is that the third form of the main verb what is that known is there and the second part is read is there though the spelling are same but the pronunciation differ and the second sentence is that if the train dash um, um late we dash a half of the concert okay and uh, what comes in the blank if uh, uh, the train uh, had had not been had not been late we would not we would have we would not have missed half the concert so had is there if had is there the second one wouldn't have both share the same thing what is third form of the main verb you see b is there in the uh, first uh, part of the sentence and uh, what is the third form of the b bean is there the second uh, the third uh, sentence is chindigo dash uh, uh, popular if uh, kenji kwakami's uh, write about um, it in the in his uh, magazines okay and uh, the third one is uh, what comes in the blank would not have uh, become the second part is that had not been able to right and uh, for sentence uh, would your life dash be very different if you dash in another country b is the root uh, helping verb and um, uh, would is there you see um, can we you predict what will come uh, in the next in the, in this part of the sentence would is there and then automatically it will accompany would have uh, and uh, and uh, would have will be there and the third form of the b is there what is that bean is there and then uh, if is there in the next part i'm talking about the next part that is if uh, uh, it uh, will accompany uh, if had is there and automatically it, it is understood that the third form of the main verb will be there what is that born okay uh, blank uh, in the first blank uh, have been is there and uh, the third blank had been born okay and uh, now come to uh, the fifth point that is if i dash uh, uh, blank is there and more come uh, more ca careful 
I and my sis blank my sister's tablet. And what comes in the blank had been? If I had been more careful, B. Third form of the B is been. If is there, automatically had will be there. And then the third form of main verb. The second part is that what is there and what what comes with what have is there. And the third form of the main verb, what is that? Broken. Now, the six, uh, if you dash uh, lots of money in uh, the street this morning, would you dash? Keep. The six one had found. And the next part had kept. The second, uh, the uh, next one means the seventh one. I blank a taxi if I dash enough money. Okay, uh, would have taken. And then had had enough money. Let's discuss this one. I would have. Okay, would is there automatically have will come and then taken is there third form of the main verb a taxi if the next part is if clause is there fine if I had if carries had with it now had comes with if what about the next had that is the third form of the main verb that is have here the word have is acting as main verb it is not acting as helping verb got it so as far as the first exercise is concerned we are uh, done with it and uh, now come to the next exercise that is uh, complete the letter from the successful businessman to his old uh, school teacher use the correct verb in the third conditional sentences okay <clears throat> I'm going to read this one, this letter, and uh, side by side we will uh, fill in the blanks. And uh, dear Mrs. Co, thank you for everything you did uh, uh, me at school. If you now come uh, the main issue that is, if you had not helped me with my math, I would have failed the exams. If I had failed the exam, I would not have got a place at university. If I hadn't got a place at the university, I would I would have got a job instead. If I had got a job, the fifth one, I wouldn't have met my friend Arthur at university. If I hadn't met my uh, friend Arthur, the sixth one, we wouldn't have started working together. I so if we seventh one if we hadn't started working together we wouldn't have invented the mess for you app if we hadn't invented the mess for app the eighth one we wouldn't have become successful so the chain is there if had is there the next part would have is there and uh, it depends on the situation i mean uh, the negative sentence uh, can be there and um, if you hadn't held we wouldn't have all these things happen and uh, i couldn't have done it without your help best wishes benjamin Quinn. so this is all about the exercise number two and uh, that's it and uh, Hope uh, things are clear and uh, thank you.